Hey guys, what's up? Josh here with Josh and Hunter's Adventures. Got a review for you today on the Lee Collet neck sizing die. This one is in 243. I'm going to take it apart and show you uh, basically how, how it works. Okay, so you screw the top off. And what you have inside here is you have a bushing and a decapping pin here. And inside of here, you have, there we go. You can see there's there. Or call it. See those four little pedals. So that's what that's what gets your neck tension uh, on the case. So I'm going to screw this back on. We're working on the RCBS press today, and I'm going to show you how to set it up. So basically, what you're going to want to do is Lee calls for you to run the ram all the way up, and then you're going to screw the die down until it touches the shell holder. See, it should be about right there. So we've touched the shell holder right there. Now, what they call for is one and a quarter turns. We're gonna try, let's put a little mark. We're gonna try about, let's try three quarters of a turn, okay? Right there, okay? So let's take a case here. I've already done a few here, um, so Got a piece of 243 brass here. Here's a bullet. Uh, this is 95 grain nozzle or ballistic tip. Really like those. Those are good bullets. You can see right here, this is, case has not been uh, sized or decapped, anything. So you can see that bullet slides pretty freely. So here's what we're gonna do. And again, once you get this die set up, do not raise this ram up and press this collet together without a case in it because it will close the collet and then when you go to size a case it will pretty much squish right here down uh, on the shoulder. Um, but I'm going to show you here, let me get this headspace, I'm going to show you that we're not doing anything to the actual shoulder. You can see what we got. So it's just measuring the head space. You can see we're at 1.624, okay? So once we size this on the neck, neck only. So again, Lee calls for, when you go down and, and press the primer out, that Lee calls for 25 pounds of pressure. So we're, we're gonna see how we do with three quarters of a turn from touching the shell holder. So uh, raise the ram up, press the primer out, 25 pounds of pressure. Let's see where we're at there. That's about right, right there. That's about where I like it, so. You wanna just barely be able to push the bullet in. Now, let's see what we got here. Again, 1.624. See, we're not touching anything on the shoulder. We are strictly sizing the neck only. So, let's do a couple more here. Again, raise the ram up. Press the primer out, 25 pounds of pressure. You can feel that collet closing. You can feel it right there. See how you just barely want that bullet to stick in there is the way I like it. Do a couple more here to show you. Ram up, primer pops out, 25 pounds of pressure. Feel that collet close right on it, right there. See there, that's what we're looking for. The more you do, the more you'll be able to feel how how you want the pressure. And if you want more neck tension, you can you can turn it. You know, go ahead and turn it a little more. Uh, you know, figure out what you're what you're looking for. Again, press the primer out. Twenty five pounds of pressure. Right there. Let's see, that just barely gets stuck in there. And I'll show you again. I didn't check the case beforehand, but you can see 1.624. So we're not doing anything with the shoulder. We're not bumping any shoulders. We're only doing neck. So, but like I said, all we gotta do is clean that primer pocket, check the overall length, should be fine. Uh, and uh, these will be ready to load up. But if you're looking for one of these, go to Midway, check them out. You can get these for probably about $30, um, but they're great. I mean, you don't, you get 
don't get really bad run out at all with this. I mean, because you're just sizing the neck only. So uh, give it a try. See what you think. Leave us a comment below if you like them. Uh, as always, leave us a, a, a remark there on what you think in the comments. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. That way you know the next time we put out a video. I'm Josh. We'll see you next time.